Yo, YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. He's Fernando from InTheOT.com, and you had some stuff you wanted to talk about. What was the first thing? All right. Well, I think that the NCAA taking away the USC's 2004 national title was the right thing to do. Um, Reggie Bush received over $300,000 in illegal benefits, and I think it was the absolute right thing to do. This is basically slapping in the wrist. To every other school who's currently cheating and paying their players, like Ohio State with Jim, with uh, their coach. So I feel that this taking away the national championship is basically showing all the teams and all the players out there and all the coaches saying, if you cheat, we don't care. We will take away your national title. We will take away any bowl championship you won that year. If you, the reason you cheat is to win national titles. And if you cheat and we catch you, you will the national title that you won will be vacated. Yeah, but he wasn't cheat by getting paid. Was he? They're they're saying that he received benefits while he was already at the school, not to go to the school. So if he received benefits while he was at the school, so be it. He made money, and that's not and that's against the rules. But even so. I don't think that that made him go out there and win a Heisman the next year, which got taken away, or win this. And even if they take this stuff away, you said it's like it's a message. After like seven years, does does anyone really think differently? I mean, if you ask me who the 2004 national title team is, it's USC. If you ask me who won the Heisman in 05, it's Reggie Bush. I mean, I really could care less what the NCAA does because... I know what happened at that time, and nothing really changes for me. I would agree with you. When people ask me who won the 04 national title, I will still say USC. I will still say that in 05, Bush won the Heisman. But the thing is, it, we don't know if Bush would have performed differently without the $300,000. And due to that reason, the NCAA, I think they know that, first of all, everyone's still going to refer to 04 as USC winning the national title and 05, Bush winning the Heisman. But I think it doesn't change that the NCAA wants to stop cheating. This announcement came a week after Jim Tressel resigned. And this is basically saying, once again, if you cheat, you will not win a national title. We will vacate it if you win. So I stand by my argument that this will, is a huge slap in the wrist. And the reason coaches cheat is to win national titles. And national titles will be vacated if you cheat. And of course, people still care about it seven years from now. I mean, Matt Leinert went on Sports Center and he said, I don't care, I still won, Bush still won the Heisman in 05, which is completely true, but this is going to hopefully stop a little bit of the cheating that's going on in the NCAA right now. Whether players should be paid or not, that's a whole different argument, but for right now, I think the NCAA did the right thing, they know that in 04 that USC won, they know that in 05 Bush won the Heisman, but they just want to keep, they keep, wanna, they keep wanting to tell players that don't cheat, we will catch you, we will take away your Heisman, we will take away your national title, and if we did it seven years ago, we can still do it today. Yeah, I see what you mean, but I just, I don't view that as cheating. I view that as someone wants money to buy something for off the field. I could really care less because it's not like they're taking steroids, it's not like they're doing something that's making them play better. Getting that $300,000, and I believe Reggie Bush bought his mom a car or something with that money. He bought his mom something. You know, did that make him play better? I really don't think it did. But let's. But we we can't assume because let, USC makes more money than the San Diego than the San Diego Aztecs. So if USC is willing to pay him hundreds of thousands of dollars to to play at their school, then. The Aztecs are at a, dif at a disadvantage because they make less money because their program is less popular, and this is going to shift the balance of power in the NCAA to one team, and we don't want that. In the MLB, we already have the Yankees winning every other year, and the NCAA is one of the only sports out there and one of the only divisions where the, all the teams are equal. No one wins every year. There's always a mix of teams, and I think if we say that it, it's okay that Reddy Bush was paid hundred thousand dollars won the Heisman, and won his team the national title, then no one's going to care. And if we change the rules to allow uh, colleges to pay their players out however much they want, all those little schools like my hometown Aztecs are never going to win a national title ever, and the teams that are always going to win are UT, 
USC, um, Michigan, they're always going to win because they make more money. Their programs make more money. So you, this just says, stop cheating. It's not going to work. We're going to catch you. And it's just, it levels the playing field for every single team in the NCAA and is the absolute right thing to do. I, I just, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't think San Diego State's ever going to win a national title, and I don't think USC necessarily is for a while now either. The thing is, the school wasn't the one that paid him. It wasn't the school, it was some, I, I believe it was some separate thing that gave him some, I, I don't think, it wasn't like the school pay, said, we'll give you $300,000 to come play at this school. He received that money when he was already enrolled in that school under a scholarship. That's just the part that I, I just don't get, really. But uh, what was the other thing you wanted to get to? Um, I wanted to get to the NHL hit from um, Aaron Rome on Nathan, uh, Nathan Houston, Houston on um, yesterday yesterday's game. Yeah, can you, uh, can you describe that for the people who didn't see it? All right. Um, Aaron Rowan from the Vancouver Canucks um, hit Nathan Houston extremely hard, gave him a severe concussion, and he's going to be out for the rest of the series in the Stanley Cup Finals. And people are now discussing whether the punishment was too harsh or if it was too lenient or if it was just right. And personally, I think that it was just right because Aaron took out Nathan for the remainder of the series. And personally, Nathan is a much better player than Aaron. So and overall, the Bruins are losing more than the Canucks. And Aaron deserves to lose as much time as Nathan because the, the hit was very late. It was a full second after the puck was passed away. So this was the absolute right thing to do. And Aaron should be punished just as much as Nathan was for a late one-second hit. Yeah, it was unnecessary. I'm looking at the pictures. I've seen the play a few times. It was unnecessary. Uh, he deserves to be suspended for at least the remainder of this season. I mean, if you want to take out the other guy then and put him out for the rest of the series, then you deserve to be put out for the rest of the series. It's not like this was a play where it was clean or it was just one of those somewhat dirty plays, but it still had to do with the game. This was just a cheap shot, Bush League, whatever you want to call it, that was unnecessary, and I, I just think it was stupid. And also, I think one of the main things is that the Vancouver Canucks were already given a get-out-of-jail-free card when Alex Burroughs bit uh, Patrice Ferguson from the uh, Bruins again. So I think that, again, was a thing that the Vancouver Canucks got away with. They kept doing illegal things, so I think this was the absolute right thing to do, and I uh, praise the, NH the NHL for having the guts to uh, suspend uh, Aaron for the rest of the series. Yeah, and I mean, they shouldn't have got away with that bite thing. I, I felt that that was just as ridiculous. You can't just bite someone and get away with it at any other place in the world. And sports shouldn't be too much different on that. If you bite someone, that's a, something a three-year-old does, not something that a grown adult should be doing, especially one that's getting paid millions to play in, a, in the NHL. So I just think that's stupid. Great video, though. We got some good debate in. I'm Sammy's Fernando. We'll see you later.